All right, I guess we're live. Hey, we got a viewer. Welcome. Thanks for joining me. We're just trying out the live streaming thing. I'd like to get a better feel for what it's all about. Yeah, look at that. Uh, warming up today. It's 10 o'clock. 73 degrees in here right now. The first uh, warm day after quite a few rain. Good day to finish up, but I'm doing all nervous. Three people watching. Welcome. Cool. Uh, for those just joining, we're giving the live streaming thing a test. Thinking it's going to be good for project that, uh, projects that I don't normally upload. For example, this is getting uh, a table mount. Not something I would put time, uh, put time into making a video on, but be good for a live stream, I think. There's got to be a way to see comments here, too. Sorry if you guys are commenting and I don't. I'm not seeing any. Oh, there's a comment. Thank you, Daryl. Did the tranny pan not leak? Um, it's leaking again. It's a very slow leak now. But it's leaking because the thin, cheap pan that I got got a little in it when I tightened down the bolt and the washer on the bolt cut into it. So when the bolt leaking, it was the actual pan had a hole in it from installing it. So. Well, here's some more settings. Top chat, live chat. Uh, also, we're on data out here in the middle of nowhere, so the video quality might suffer a little bit at times. Oh, okay. This is fun. Learning... Uh, Learning everything with this app. What is that down? Oh, there's my dishes. Okay. Yes, still dealing with the tranny transmission pan. So where we're sitting at right right now with that is waiting for some ultra black to cure. I put a little bead of ultra black over the the cut in the pan, waiting for that to dry, and then I'm going to tighten it down, and we'll check that later. And then we're getting on to the airbags. I pulled out all the stuff for that yesterday. Got new airlines, fittings, everything I need to make that work. I just 
first. I'm going to get this transmission leaked up. So I might need to drive this into town real quick and get some groceries. I'm trying to wrap that up. Uh, do I plan to stay in the Pacific Northwest or travel a little bit? I want to travel. I keep uh, I'm stuck here because this is where family is and where I have a place to bring my RV back to and work on it when things go bad. And so I'm a little, a little nervous about traveling away from the Pacific Northwest, specifically Oregon and Washington. I've got um, places up here that I can retreat to if the RV breaks down. And so far it's been pretty... Uh, consistent in its breakdown. So I have not felt very confident in heading out and exploring. So I'm getting things done first, trying to feel a little more confident, but yes, I want to, I want to branch out from the Pacific Northwest and see more of the, the country. we got a big country. You may go check it out. So I'm kind of thinking a list would be a good idea for these live streams for things that touch bases on so there was like some things but now that i'm on, now that the pressure's on i can't remember what i was going to talk about i think i just wanted to check out the live streaming maybe get this monitor installed Um, let's see here, it's 10.22 now, I'm getting, uh, I'm gonna head into town at noon, tighten that bolt up, get groceries, come back, start on the airbags, for the auto leveling valves. <laughs> yes, I think California would be a good idea. Hey, Patrick. Hi, Dom. Welcome. Backwoods bungalow. Yes, CRTs. Oh, I don't think that's quite a CRT, but it's it's an older screen. Not quite as old as the actual CRT, if that's if that's even what you're talking about. Can you guys see okay in here? I'd open up the blinds, but the sun was out, and that usually whitewashes things a little bit. That's not too bad. Sun, when it hits the side of the RV, just turns into an oven. So these blinds are usually closed. Oh, is that how the video looks? Oh, that does not look good. Inception. Yeah, I'm going to have to try and set up the Wi-Fi on this. That doesn't look very good at all. Mm. Hello, Nikki's Wheels Custom. Thanks everyone for joining in, getting a good test on this live streaming, trying to get a feel for it. It was, uh, I need to turn this volume down, that's confusing. Yes, good test today, live streaming. Figured it'd be good for the smaller projects I don't usually record, like 
putting the table mount on the back of this. There should be like four screws. Won't take too long, but it'll be a good time for a Q and A and a little little side project. Hello, home built help from Wisconsin. Wisconsin, where's Wisconsin? Yeah, not good internet up here in these parts. Another East Coaster, kind of. Got a couple people out on the East Coast. Starting a little map with all my saved places. Got a 93 Four Winds Class A motorhome. Nice. Ooh, that's a, a nice motorhome. 94 is a 94. Okay. Oh, I like it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. XRV, hello! From the UK. Hello, Victoria from Canada. Ajax, Ontario, Canada. Awesome. It's awesome. cool to see where everybody's from. I need to find a place to mount the phone over here. I'm starting to not like this view. It doesn't seem very heads on. Full time in a Tiffin Allegro. What year is your Tiffin? Oops. England. Like actual England, England? Are you okay? Sorry if I'm keeping you guys awake. That must be uh, pretty late over there, huh? What time is it over there? Yes, I hope to do some more traveling too. I like the Pacific Northwest. I like Washington. I know it's the back of my hand, but there's definitely lots to see out there. 7.20 p.m. Okay, not too bad then. I always worry about what times I'm uploading. What time does our sunset? I think we're still at uh, 720. Our sun's setting around eight o'clock still. Yeah, so I need to pull out like a mount for this camera or something. Uh, it's 1029 here. In the west coast of the United States. 13 people watching. Awesome. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining. Just giving this a quick test. I'm taking a little bit of a break from the RV while we got ultra black setting up. There's still a little bit of a trend from uh, the washer on the pan bolt on the new flimsy pan, the cheap pan that I got off uh, Amazon uh, tore a little hole in it when I torqued it down. So that's where it was leaking from. It wasn't leaking from the bolt, it was leaking from 
hole in the pan because it was a thin, cheap pan. And so sealed it up with some ultra black and am waiting on that to dry. And I go into town at noon, get groceries, come back. Um, start on the airbag, uh, leveling valves. One's bad. I'm going to replace both of them, though, just to be on the safe side. A lot of things are just getting the full, you know, so just replacing one, I'm doing both of them. I'm trying to think about uh, on-road repairs I don't want to deal with when I hit, start doing long road trips. Terrified of the idea of just sit, hitting the road and getting stranded in the middle of nowhere. And patches is pretty consistent in breaking down, so I'm not, yeah, not very confident with the idea of... Um, leaving the safety of Washington and Oregon yet. Yes, they sure do. I didn't want to try doing the springs. Those are a little more custom, and with all the weight I'd be putting on them, I didn't want to... I didn't really want to chance anything with that. I should, that was an impatient thing why I got those springs. I should have just waited for the bags to show up. But they were back ordered for months. It kind of sounded like uh, something that wasn't even going to happen. Next there. So yeah, just, just experimenting here, seeing how this all works out. This whole RV steals a lot of my time and money. Mm, what, about the bags? Not very straightforward. Hey, Jung. Good to finally say hi to you. Oh, you're finally full-timing. Awesome. Out here in Minifee, California RV Park. Nice. That is the first place I went to when I started boondocking, was straight to an RV park. and A uh, good way to get a feel for it, anyway. It's just a... Go get comfortable and sit in your RV and yeah, a lot to get used to. Oh, the springs, yeah. It wasn't very well, I didn't really get into it very much, so there wasn't very anything much to be straightforward about it. Um, they nothing lined up. The spring mounts on the top of the axle put the spring at a location that was Nothing lined up on either end of the spring. I would have needed to get two new brackets, and that was the problem with trying to find those specific sized brackets to fit that um, setup. Uh, yeah, my relative just told me about that thousand year trail thing. I'm probably going to look into that. They say you can just go up and down the coast and just camp all year. Oh, they last 14 days, huh? That's nice. Yeah, I mentioned the AAA thing to my relatives. And like, oh, you should try this thousand year thing. Oops. I'll find my camera. Uh, stop. Catching my face all the time. That whole thing was a, such a big stress ball, too, working on those springs. It was, uh, I found a forum where some people had some luck with a certain model of RV where the springs just bolted in, and I focused too much on that. So I got the springs, and all those did not were not going to just bolt in. They were too tall. I mean, nothing was the right size on those springs. Um, it was just obvious that I just had to stick with the bags. No kidding. Is there any, uh, do they allow any RV to do the thousand trail thing or would I be, uh, or would my RV be a little too trashed to get 
considered for it. Kind of like the snob parks that don't let you camp there because your RV's too old. Yes, I have looked in a Sumo Springs. I really want to get two for the back since when all the air is out of those rear bags, the RV sits so low it can't drive. So I want to put some Sumo Springs back there so when all the air is out of the bags, it'll actually set on those. I can bring the back end up just a little bit higher. So yes, I even have those in my Amazon store. I haven't checked on that in a while. Oh, How's the video? Not too bad. Thanks. Video looks great. Thank you. Oh yeah, and I've got a whole bunch of things. Uh, I have a whole boondocking favorites in my bookmark folder for all the locations I want to go check out. So I do have plans to travel. Not a big fan of just going up to Vancouver, boondocking a few spots, and then coming back here to the ranch. I'm getting to honestly a little bored of it. It's not really a choice I have, though. All right, none of my... Nothing's uh, on this new computer. All my saved passwords and stuff, so I can't really log in to what I was doing for. Oh, so welcome everybody. Welcome. Thank you for watching. Trying out the live stream before I head off, do some chores or not chores, errands. Need to run some errands here in a little bit. So I thought I'd try out the live stream, see how everything looks. I need like a phone mount up here somewhere. The side view is not really working. Where if I can put the suction cup thing? Oh, that's right. I put this there so we can do a project. I was going to work on this monitor. Sorry about the noise if that's messing with the microphone. I'm going to take the stand off this monitor and mount it to the table. Sorry if I don't see your message. I'm still figuring that out on the phone. Don, you got airbags on your RV. That's, I hope they're in good condition. You know, I think the airbags aren't too bad doing it once. The main thing was just getting the back end of the RV up on jack stands and pulling everything out. I think doing it for a second time, airbags aren't, wouldn't be too bad. So we got a monitor, uh, table mount monitor stand for this. That way I don't have to pull it and put it down on the floor every time I drive. Most monitors comes with this, uh, I think it's 110. A 10 millimeter screw pattern, whatever you want to call it. There's just these set of screws that aren't really going to anything. And they are for mounting 
uh, stands in the where you want to call it monitor stands too. So for those. And the monitor stand. Yeah, I do need to get some better than my normal videoing. I know my lighting is quite poor at times, so yeah. If this if this table is going to be the focus, I will probably end up putting some better lighting here. I have these things, which help, but it's such a pain to set up, and I just want to dig into my project. Easy. <gasps> Yeah, I'm still learning a lot about filming just basic stuff. How's that? That better? <laughs> yeah, I do that sometimes. Okay, so we got the busted stand. It's all cracked up and kind of falling apart. Set the screws here. Uh, sure, which one to take out first? Pretty sure you don't have to take this whole back panel apart to get these out. like four screws holding this on and then we got four screws to put the new stand in. Definitely need to get a tripod or something. Could have sworn last time I took one of these apart, this stand just pops right out of the bottom. Does not seem to be the keys this time.
progress is really good. Okay, those are not what that's for. I just don't want this Two wires to take apart so I can lift this up and get some screws in here and we can take that connector piece off. Could just leave it on, but I don't. I'm OCD and I don't want I need a needle nose this week. Moving the peaker wires. Stay connected here. Try and do this without breaking the Uh, weighing out how bad I want to remove this piece to how much work is involved. I'm going to pretty much take this thing all apart to get to these two screws that are right here. Could just break it off maybe. Stand was already busted, by the way, so I'm not really too worried about breaking it to move her.
Okay, let's just take it apart. Other than hacksaw, but it's gonna make a huge mess, and oh, it's gonna bother me having pieces of stand still attached. Still going. Sorry, this is a little boring. This is all kind of a test. The image is good. Welcome, Jen. Thanks for joining us. Just doing a little side project and a test of this live streaming stuff. I'm gonna kind of do my live streaming, end it, and then we'll see what that looks like in the on the channel afterwards. I'd like to be able to live stream and still have it on the channel for those who wanna see it later. Or for anybody who's at work. Um, yeah, we're just going to take this apart. And I'm going to do a bit more of this too. This is uh, kind of always had been my idea for having a, a work table. A place to do projects. I got a bunch of Arduino stuff and Radio Shack stuff I want to get into. And so eventually, yeah, we'll get some better lighting. I looked into getting a quad pot so I could have a nice straight down view on my projects, but then I came up with a different idea. That will be probably for the next live stream. Uh, just a way to mount the camera and have that wherever I need it when I'm working on these projects. Like right now, that would be nice to have, like, meow, get an over shoulder shot. I think. I don't know. Um... All right, so back what I was doing. Set that on this TV. So I'm just trying to get this little piece of plastic out the bottom of the monitor. It's what the stand connects to. I'll detach the wires. Or uh, do I, maybe? Sometimes he'll flip the other way. Mm. Need to be careful with this one. It's got the, the uh, what do you call that? The fluorescent. Uh, it's got fluorescent backlighting and it's got high voltage um, power in here. So be careful with capacitors. Got a ribbon up there. Two wires right here, and I can't get the front.
So is that helpful? I'm getting the feeling I'm taking this apart backwards. Because how the heck am I supposed to make this wire? Take a picture of wires that you think you might get mixed up later. So if you come to a bunch of plugs that are similar, you don't want to get them confused later on, take a picture, you come back to it. That's what I like to do. Okay, now we can get to that uh, little 
counting bracket there. I think normally the uh, procedure for putting a different mount on here is just to yank this stuff, this part off, which I did. But I don't want this little thing to stick out. That's all I wanted. Let's see, it's all. Thank you. And I'll bust it up. I'll bust it up. Don't forget. Yeah, for some reason, comments don't stay up on the screen. They fade away and I can't read them. Uh, no, I'm using my phone. Uh, it's a... Uh, ZTE... No. Yeah, ZTE ZMAX Blade or something like that. Yeah, it's my phone. Alright, reverse the process. better tool thing.
a little windy up there. Okay, I think I just gotta put the screws back in at this point. chunks of the broken part of the case keeping this going together a little going together smooth Don't want to force anything. Two extra screws, why? These, those. Oh, two extra from what we removed, okay. Sorry about Noah.
thanks everyone for watching, doing a little project, as well as testing out the live streaming. Getting used to that. I'm going to use it for smaller projects. Things like that. Because something like this isn't normally what I would upload. Put that back in before I lose it. There's the two screws from the stand. Keep those. Works. Still works. What is that? Okay, so there's what the stand looks like. It looked like something that would work pretty well to put the monitor right where I need it.
more boxes. I have so many boxes. like 25 bucks on eBay. Let's get a lot cheaper for the uh, I don't know what you call them. They have cheaper models. This was already kind of cheap. The nice version of these are like 80 bucks. But this is your typical cheap china. It's got the cheap materials. Not too cheap, it can't hold a monster up. That's pretty, that's a pretty solid uh, deal there. mount somewhere right there. plate that mounts to the back of the monitor. Pretty universal. I've never seen the smaller. Heard 75 millimeter holes used. Wait, that's not 75. 75 millimeter. Everything's got this 110 millimeter bolt pattern on it. So I don't know what those smaller ones are for. That's your standard little bracket. Goes on that monitor, goes on all my other monitors. Standard stuff. Easy enough.
How's the video quality looking on there? It goes up and down the quality yeah I'm using data plan the nearest cell tower is like that way that's probably in the nearest town I can't see how far away that is it's a ways but it does say 4g so where it was I can't get to show it right now um, and the other option is Wi-Fi which download speeds are great, but upload speeds are absolutely horrible. It's got this little weird little Wi-Fi dish on the side of the garage and it aims somewhere in town and it's a small little company that does the internet around here. And their, uh, their big tower sends this internet pretty, uh, pretty fast, but our little Wi-Fi dish that sends it to them is freaking slow as heck, I can't. There's no way I'd be able to live stream on that. I might try it though. So looks like you got these holes to pick your size. I'm go with the smallest size. My big old bolts. Clamping on this first part here. Be the uh, what everything else attaches to. It doesn't really matter. This goes up and down too. down as low as it'll go for 
first first time we use it see how that works out Yeah, should work pretty good. And I can swing it out of the way when I want to bust out the vintage games. Turning out pretty good. You always get the image in your head when you order the stuff on eBay or Amazon, wherever you get it from, and, and it gets here as a completely different image than what you had in your head. But I like it. All I gotta do is just down, call it good. Put some on there. Well, thanks, Daryl. Seems to be going good so far. Definitely feel the pressure. Don't have the need to hide all hiccups and other things. But I like it. Just kind of start it and go. I think it'll be great for a lot of projects. This that I wouldn't normally even bother recording. Might do some things in the future too, like driving streams. Start the live stream and go for a drive. I don't know. We'll see how that see how everything else goes. like a wire cap.
like I can reuse the old screws. Although they sent some nice little thumb, uh, what do you call those, the old finger grip, finger grippy ones. I'll just save those. Put those in my stash. It's just that these have the Kind of short though, this might not hold up too well to vibration. I could see those vibrating out by the ends of the. I don't know if I got any. Holy crap, it holds it. I think this was rated for like 13, 11 pounds or something. This monitor was like 12 pounds. But I did take the stand off though. So. Yeah. But hey, that works pretty good. Too far forward and a little. There we go. A little too far forward. But that's okay. I think I can do something. Maybe I'll mount this somewhere at a different time. It's really not that big a deal. Just room to put my. Like it back about there. Like there. There we go. Hey, that works. Definitely gonna bounce all over the place, but that's what we got bungee cords for. That's probably on. Hmm, that works. What do you guys think? 
Man centers coming along. Oh yeah, that picture is not too great. So I will work on that too, figuring out the internet and getting a getting all that figured out. Cause that I wouldn't watch that. That's pretty. That's a pretty grimy picture. There's quite the delay. Oh, that's me. I'm. I got the delay. You got seven twenty. Maybe it's just my internet. I'm also quite a ways from the router right now. Where is, uh... Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's going up and down. Pretty sure quality. It's probably the uh, 4G that I'm only getting two to three bars on. Yeah, that's it. That was a successful project. When I drive, I'll bungee it to the TV or something. And we got another one to put on this side. The next project, so. I'm gonna wrap it up on that. I'm running out of time. Gotta head into town, do some errands, come back and I wanna get started on those uh, auto leveling valves. Start getting ready for that. Thanks, Dean. Welcome to the stream if I have not welcomed you yet. Ooh, this phone is hot. Yeah, thanks everybody for coming in. That got me really used to uh, the live streaming thing. I was terrified, to be honest. Those who don't know, I have a little bit of social anxiety. But this was a good learning experience. So thank you everyone everyone so much for joining in. Gonna head in town, get some things done. Yes. We'll get started on those airbags, so stay tuned for that. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day. Bye. -bye. Okay, everyone have a good day. Bye.